Hello everyone and welcome back to another That Adventure Life video. I am Dustin. And I'm B. And in today's video we are going to be taking Butternut the Adventure Jeep on a beautiful drive through Chiricahua National Monument. We're actually going to show you the scenic drive. Uh, pretty much is the only road inside Chiricahua Ma uh, National Monument. <laughs> it always gets us. I know. Uh, it's an eight miles paved road that would take you through beautiful scenic, uh, all the hoodoos, um, beautiful trees, and it will take you uh, to multiple outlooks as well as access to all the drills here. So all the day drills here, uh, day hiking drills. It, pretty much this is the only road that would take you there. So we're going to stop uh, at multiple spots along the way to show you all the cool things that you can see throughout here along with, uh, with some of the trail heads. Just, yeah. All right, so uh, buckle your seatbelts. Yeah. Let's get it going. So one of the first stops inside Chiricahua National Monument is actually kind of interesting. Uh, located just inside the park, you can see the entrance station there. It is the Erickson Family Cemetery. We're yes, we're spinning. <laughs> uh, you may be thinking cemetery, that's kind of interesting, but uh, these were a family of Swedish immigrants. Immigrants, uh, they actually settlers, so they um, actually built a ranch here and it's called a faraway ranch which will that would be our next stops um so they built their ranch here to for visitor to come visit um this beautiful wonderlands of rock and then from there um because of the interest it started to turn into the chirac chiracoan uh, national, national monument. monument yeah so if it wasn't for these guys this uh, probably wouldn't exist today. So uh, thanks guys, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying it from up there now. <laughs> I know that the Erickson Cemetery is a kind of grim way to start off our list, but it does have some great historical significance. After leaving the cemetery, we are just a short drive from stop number two on our list, which is Faraway Ranch. Here you'll find a picnic area, some shorter hiking trails, and of course the ranch itself. The ranch is a small walk from the parking lot. It's about a tenth of a mile each way. It's not paved, but it is completely flat. Faraway Ranch was built by the Erikssons, uh, specifically Lillian Erikssons. Uh, she was a Swedish immigrant. So they, come, they built this ranch so, uh, and opened up to the visitor in 1920. That way, people can come and visit the beautiful wonderlands of rocks. And the reason she named this far away, because it's very, very, very far away from everything else. And as you can see, there are a lot of, there's no horses right now, but that's an a demonstrating the life of a horse back there. Apparently the horse have cameras and hats back there. You doing okay? Good? Yeah. So yeah, this is another thing that you can do here at Tiracolos. Unfortunately, right now, uh, the inside of the, the ranch is closed for a remodel. And I believe it's, they said that it might be open back up in the 2024. So we'll see, we'll, we'll keep our finger crossed. But right now you can take a look around the outside of the, the ranch. Chiricahua National Monument has done a great job of maintaining the buildings here. With the exception of some rusty farm equipment, everything looks pretty intact, especially considering it's close to 135 years old. After leaving the corrals behind, you should see this L-shaped cabin on your right. This is known as the Cowboy House. This started off as two cabins, but it was later joined into one bigger cabin to be used by cowboys and guests. If you love history, there's also this small museum just on the other side of the bridge. There's tons of historical photos in here, as well as other neat artifacts. Supper time! 
And what would a visit to Faraway Ranch be without visiting the ranch house? As we mentioned before, it's not currently open to the public, but it will hopefully be sometime next year. In the meantime, you can still check out the house from the outside. We are now on our way to stop number three, which is the visitor center. This drive will also give you some of your first panoramic views of the beautiful nature that this monument has to offer. As you're driving through the park, I would definitely recommend swinging by the visitor center, which is right over there. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great place. Everyone that we talked to there was just beyond nice and uh, they can give you some great recommendations of little stops to make along the way. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool little stop. Uh, There's a little museum inside. You can ask, you know, talk to the ranger about all the birds or all the animals that you see. Like we have one guy that come up and was like, oh, what is this thing on the leaf? And the ranger is like, oh yeah, that is a moth or whatever. Well, it was, I think it was a wasp a egg. Wasp. Yeah, he was just, he rattled off. It was amazing. <laughs> so if you see things that you don't know, you can stop by there and ask them questions. It's just a cool little spot along your scenic drive. Yeah. And we even we even got a, the identified the Mexican jay, which is a blue jay with no mohawk. Really cute. I think I, I might have gotten some video of it yesterday. If I did it, I'll be uh, layering that over right now. The visitor center also has a little gift shop where you can get all of your souvenirs. And this parking lot is also where you'll find the trailhead for the lower rhyolite trail. We did a small section of this trail because I really wanted to see a quaddy. Unfortunately, we didn't end up spotting one, but we did see several deer and some other animals. At this point, we are leaving civilization behind and heading towards the nature areas of the park. Our first stop along the way is going to be the organ pipe formation. This is one of the most impressive geological features along the scenic drive. It's located on the left side of the road after leaving the visitor center and I pretty much guarantee that you cannot miss it. Since it's located directly off the side of the road, this stop shouldn't take a lot of time out of your day and you should be back on your way to explore the rest of the park. The next two stops are going to be fairly short as well. They are just up the road and they are the Sea Captain and China Boy. As you'll see in a second, these are two formations that you'll need a tiny bit of creativity to see. The next stop along the drive is the Sea Captain. And you have to be careful because you need to stand a little bit out in the street to see him, so watch for traffic. This one's a little bit obscure. It's kind of one of those ink blot tests. You can see him right here. So there he is. And if you don't know what he looks like, there's a beautiful drawing by Dustin. <laughs> of what you're supposed to be looking at. She's mocking my artistry <laughs> skills. But uh, but yeah, so uh, ahoy, Captain. After leaving the Sea Captain, it's only about one tenth of a mile up the road until you reach China Boy. This formation is even a little bit more obscure, but it's worth a quick stop to see. Our next stop is quite a ways away and we will be driving almost all the way to the end of the scenic drive. The scenery here is beautiful and this is definitely not a drive that you will want to rush. You will be climbing about 900 feet up the side of the mountain and along the way you'll get a great view of a mountain that is called Cochise Head. And here we are arriving at our next stop which is the Echo Canyon Trailhead. This is where you'll be starting some of the best hikes that this national monument has to offer. If you don't consider yourself an avid hiker, you can always do the Echo Canyon Grottoes Trail. It's only about one mile long and you can see that video by clicking in the upper corner right now. This hike will take you through some absolutely amazing scenery and it will come to a grand conclusion at the Echo Canyon Grottoes. On the other hand, if you don't mind putting in some miles, we highly recommend taking on one of the best hikes in the park and it is known as the Big Loop. This hike will take you to several famous parts of the park like Inspiration Point, the Heart of Rocks, and it will also take you to the Echo Canyon Grottoes as well. 
If you haven't seen that video yet, it is definitely worth checking out and you can see it by clicking in the upper corner. Hiking is the best way to experience all the beauty that this national monument has to offer. But just know that a lot of the hikes here have a fair amount of elevation change, so bring good shoes and more water than you think you need. We are now on to our last stop that is located at the very end of the scenic drive, and it is Maasai Point. This is a trailhead as well, and from here you can connect to the Big Loop, Inspiration Point, and the Heart of Rocks. Since we had already done many of the trails in the park, we came here to do a short hike to a spot known as Speaker's Rock. This beautiful overlook was built to be used in the 1934 dedication of the park. From here, not only do you get an amazing view of the wonderland of rocks, but there's also this viewfinder that points out several unique formations. And if that's not enough, there's also an exhibit building here. And you'll also get one more great opportunity to get your photos of Koshi's head. The exhibit building is located up on a high peak, giving you a 360 degree view of the National Monument. And once inside, you'll get a ton of information about the history and geology of the park. We're gonna show a couple of the information signs right now, and if you wanna read them, you can always pause the video. And with that, our video about the scenic drive at Chiricahua National Monument is coming to a close. What do you think? Is this a spot you'd like to stop by? And what are your favorite national monuments? Let us know in the comments below so we can stop by and check them out too. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because those are the best things that you can do to really help out our channel. And we also have a lot of awesome videos coming up and you don't want to miss them. For all the information about visiting Chiricahua National Monument, you can also head on over to thatadventurelife.com. Paint me like your French girls, Jack. I believe it's, they said that it might be open back up in the 2020.